Hello, I'm Adam, and this Adam tip is about pause sheets. These are something I do for every project, and would definitely recommend doing them whether you're working on a solo project or with a team. Pause sheets are basically a collection of pauses that visualize who a character is in one easy to view image. I wouldn't spend any more than two or three days on this, it's more just about trying to get those initial thoughts and ideas out as soon as possible. So here are five reasons why you should add them to your workflow. One of the best reasons for doing these is that it forces you to create a pose library. The start of an animation project is usually when you're at your most creative. So this is a great time to get as many ideas and poses out as possible and store them somewhere. I usually create a Maya file, referencing the rig, and place a new pose every 10 frames, which I can then easily pull from when I need to. This saves a lot of time later in a project when I need poses for things like transitions, extra beats, or variations. Even if you don't use all these poses for this project, having them stored like this might inspire an idea for your next one. They're also a good way to pitch ideas in a visual way, either to a team or to yourself. If you're working on your own, use this as a quick way to experiment with rough ideas without getting too committed to anything. I always think that a single pose is usually enough to sell an idea, and because they're just single poses, there's no need to get precious. If some don't get used, then you haven't wasted a lot of time. They're also a good way to test the limitations of the rig. As you can see in these poses, I hid the clothing, and that's because when I posted legs in certain ways, the clothing would break. This was really useful because then I could talk to the rigger and give them an idea of the poses I'll be using. They could then put things in place to accommodate that and suggest other ways of doing things based on those poses, which can also save a lot of time down the line. If you don't have a rigger and have no way to fix it, at the very least, you now know how far you can push the rig before you commit to something. Consistency is really important, especially when working in a team or across multiple teams. It's always good to have this easy to view sheet that anyone can look at. This gives you something to reference later in a project. If you think of new ideas later in the project, you can look at this sheet and see if it fits with what you locked down initially. They can also be used to inspire others. Even if a pause isn't used how you intended it to be, it could be used in other places or by other teams. One example when working on this character is that this pose was just too contained for his idol. His swords weren't visible enough from the game camera, but then it was used in a splash image by the illustration team. Another example is that a lot of the early attack and ability poses I did weren't used due to his gameplay kit changing, but were then used later in his cinematic piece. So if you do a pose sheet, keep it somewhere visible because it might help someone else out too. Even if you work on a personal project with a free rig, Sharing a post sheet online for a character could help inspire others when they use that same rig. So in summary, they force you to create a post library that you can then pull from later, are really good for pitching and brainstorming ideas, they're useful for testing rig limitations early, they keep things consistent, and they can also inspire other people in their work. One post sheet can often go a lot further than you think and save you and other people a lot of time down the line.